If you're shooting a newer Nikon Z mount style camera and you find yourself wanting to shoot the 24-70 f4 Z mount lens, let me show you what you're going to need and how to put it together. In order to zoom the lens, we're going to use the zoom sleeve and clamp assembly. And I'm going to be shooting it with the smaller compact 8 inch dome port and I'm going to combine that with two 28 millimeter extensions. I'm going to use the included tool. I'm going to remove the protective cap from the inside, hold the retainer separately, just turn the housing over and my dust cap will simply come out. Set with that with my spare parts, reach in, take the body cap off. And in this case, I'm going to take the gear sleeve and I'm gonna drop it down in to the port opening. And you'll notice that on the inside diameter of the gear sleeve, you'll see two ribs. I'm going to purposefully make sure one of those ribs corresponds to and lines up with the white dot on the camera body. That'll make further assembly when we line the lens up a lot easier. So I'm gonna drop that down into place. And then I'm gonna take the sleeve retainer, drop that down and around the gear sleeve. And using the same tool, I'm gonna to just simply snug that retainer down. And if you didn't get that rib lined up, you can always use the knob on the side of the housing to fine tune that adjustment. Now that we have that in place, I'm gonna go ahead and just set that aside. I'm gonna turn my attention to the lens itself. I have the clamp and I'm going to take this clamp, which you'll notice there are two tabs on the side of it. And I'm going to actually make sure that those two tabs are facing away from the camera body. And I'm also gonna make sure that I take my lens and I kind of pre zoom it to around the mid range. So let's shoot for 35 here. I wanna make sure that my switchers are set to auto for A for auto. And I'm gonna take one of those two tabs and that is going to align with the white dot on my lens. And I'm simply just gonna walk that up the lens until I get to the zoom ring, which is the highest ring on the lens. And I'm gonna go just to the point where it gets past that line and is on the zoom ring of the lens. Now you'll notice that my white dot corresponds to my tab and my rib corresponds to the white dot on the camera. So it'll make it a lot easier for me to just feed that down in and bayonet it onto the camera. So take the protective cap off the back of the lens, of course. And we are going to align the ribs in the two tabs of that clamp. And then you're going to simply feel the bayonet onto the camera body. Once you bayonet and you felt it click into place, Take the zoom knob and make sure that you are actually going to zoom the lens. In this case, we are good to go. Now all we have to do is assemble the port and put it onto the housing. Now, as mentioned before, I'm gonna shoot the compact eight inch dome and that's gonna require two 28 millimeter extensions to be combined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the dome, set it aside and I'll combine the two extensions first. And I'm gonna make sure that both of the extensions have their three thumb screws unthreaded so that they're not protruding to the inside diameter. And I'll check on both. I'm also going to check that on the dome port itself to make sure all three thumb screws are backed out and not protruding to the inside diameter. And I'm gonna take a little bit of lubricant on my finger and thumb. And this is just enough to overcome the friction so that the O-ring glides into place. I'm gonna apply a little bit on the O-ring itself, and I'm also gonna apply a little bit on that sealing surface. In addition to applying some lubricant on that sealing surface, I also get the opportunity to feel for anything debris that may have built up there that I can't visually see. And again, applying some lubricant to the O-ring itself. And then finally, the sealing surface of the compact dome port. Okay, and that's good to go. I will start by lining up the thumb screw with the corresponding pocket on the extension and then simply push the two pieces together and then tighten the thumb screws of the top extension ring. The seal occurred when the two pieces went together, not when we're tightening down the thumb screws. They just keep the two pieces retained. I'm going to basically do the exact same thing here with the dome port. When looking at the dome port, you'll see there's a shade at the top and the bottom. Only one of those three thumb screws is gonna to correspond to one of those two shades. That makes this the top. So we're gonna go ahead and say that is the top. Again, correspond that thumb screw to the pocket and the extension. Bind those up and push together. And then tighten those three thumb screws down on the port. 
Again, finger tight. This seal occurred when we pushed the two pieces together. And basically repeating that step one more time here on the housing itself. Again, a little bit of lubricant, applying that to the O-ring, checking for debris, checking for any hair that might affect our seal. Making sure that our three thumb screws are backed out. Remember the top of our shade is gonna be the top of the housing. Line up the thumb screw with the pocket. Press together. And tighten the three thumb screws. Now you have a fully encapsulated 24 to 70 lens, as well as the ability to zoom it. If you have any questions whatsoever about what we've seen here today, drop us a comment down below or feel free to shoot us an email to iclight at iclight.com.